Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Building with Sausage. This is Mythical Sausage here. Hello, what is up? How is everybody doing? Man, we are back again doing another Halloween style build. This time I'm going to do a very starter cabin in the woods scariest little thing thing. It's going to be cool. I'm going to plop it right in between these two ghost trees that we did recently. If you guys uh, did not catch that, also I'm going to put a link in the description. These are little ghost dead trees and it's really, really spooky. So in the middle, in between this, I'm going to do a nice little starter cabin in the woods. So if you want, you can add this uh, to your world and it's kind of good be a little spooky it's gonna be nice gonna be broken up and looks uh, and it's gonna be fitting the theme of halloween so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now so let's flip i'm gonna be using a lot of dark wood so we're gonna be using all dark oaks we're gonna be using spruce and we're gonna bring a couple little things that are around the way also some trap let me put some trap going here uh so i'm gonna work on this right here so it's gonna be very starter worthy you can really build this really fast in the world if you want just a quick little uh cabin in the woods kind of scary looking thing so first off let's go right here i'm gonna go right off to the side so let's go here with a uh, dark oak log right here and we're gonna go a space of let's see from this we're gonna go one two three four five six so technically it's a seven so this is a one two three four five six seven so a seven long actually i want to get it right center let's move this one down right there perfect so it's a seven so from here to here is a seven block so now let's give this space right here uh i want to do like a little front porch so i'm going to give it a space of one and two uh actually a space a small one so it's a small cabin let's do a space of two right here so one two let's go down here so we're going to give it all the way to here so another seven so it's going to be a little front porch area this part here we're going to go a space of one two three uh let's do wait one from here one two three four and then we're going to there perfect so there we go uh and then we're going to go back one two three four five six seven and go like that so it's going to be a small little cabin in the woods it's going to be cool so from here uh we're going to go let's go to the main structure so it'll be here let's take this up so from here we're going to go up one two three four and five we're going to go up by five so one two three four five one two three four five and one two three four five right here so we have this little area lovely now on this end we're gonna actually i'm gonna go up one so it's gonna be a little elevated and then you can actually see almost like underneath the house uh so i'm gonna do a little cross beam right here we're gonna do a little cross beam right here and we're gonna do another cross beam here and another little cross beam right here and you kind of see like underneath the house it looks kind of spooky right uh, so another thing I want to do is get some fences. Let's just fence this in with some uh, regular spruce right here on the bottom all the way around all the way around like that little fences it looks awesome i'm gonna take this up by two i'm gonna take this up by two and then i'm gonna cross beam here as well cross beam here we're gonna cross beam here and do a little way up right there we're gonna do a single uh way up so right here we're gonna go up right there into the house looks scary i love it uh so here we're gonna fence this off as well here here and there we're going to fence it up and we might break this up later on just to make it a little more detailed. Uh, so for this, we're going to grab spruce. I'm going to cover this up, cover all this up right here like so. And then we're going to make a, just a little stair to get up right here and right there. And then put two our, of our logs here and then we're going to put two slabs right there. So that's our way up right inside this thing. OK, cool. Now it's going to be very cabin in the woods like so I'm going to make uh, it seem like like logs just slide it all the way in here so the way we could do that to make get that effect i'm gonna do this we're gonna bring in the stripped dark oak all right and then we're gonna bring the regular the stripped the regular and the stripped we can go this direction or we can go sideways either one is fine let me look at it and see how it looks sideways maybe it might look a little better so maybe if we go all the way down like this like this and then like this it'll look like that i kind of like the other direction uh just because we get more logs per area so you can go either way it just is inspiration you can use either either method so i'm just gonna do this one like this and then we're gonna mix in like that so i kind of like the way that looks a little better so we're gonna do it here too we're gonna go up in the middle and then we're gonna come in here and then i'm gonna pop in windows after but for now let's just do it like this so every other one we're gonna change the log so one is dark oak regular and one is stripped dark oak so we're going like this like that and like that okay cool so we have this little look to it it's gonna be spooky i like this okay now another thing i want to do let's actually work on at least i want to make it now the uh, uh like a little cross beam on the tippy top uh for this one i'm just gonna go with dark oak going all the way around like this i'm gonna swing it around dark oak like so just like that dark oak 
Okay, now watch this. I want to do our little roof, but I also want to do a little overhang that goes here and down. Uh, so the way I'm doing this roof, I'm going to use dark oak as our main block inside, and then the outside part we're using as the trim, some spruce. So let's, let's work this out. So first off, let's see. If I'm going to do it, we're going to go down like this, right? Uh, and then this will be a way we're gonna we're gonna swing it down this way but for now let's just do it right here in this corner we're gonna go up I'm gonna go with full block here go up we're gonna go with an upside down stair we're gonna go with a full block and then up and then this is the middle we're gonna meet up so I'm gonna put an upside down stair here and I'm gonna go with a full block right there and let's bring it back down so we're gonna drop that there full block upside down stair there we go upside down stair regular stair upside down stair regular stair so we have that going all the way around so let's actually swing this down i'm gonna go all the way down like so let's actually bring it here too so let's take it right to there upside down stair on both sides full blocks on both stair on one stair on another and i don't think we're messing with the tree are we messing with the tree i don't think so so full block stair stair Oh, we messed that one up. Stair, stair right here, and a full block right on top. Okay, cool. So now I want to work on the overhang, but I think if we just take it down, right here is fine too. Now, if we do something here, let's grab, how about a, we're going to get a fence, put a fence here, put a fence here. Let's grab our slab. I'm going to go right down this line. I think it might be too low because we kind of it's kind of low let's do this let's take all this down one layer and i think if we take it down one more let's see that might be too low i think i'm going to take it all the way up like so there we go and we're just going to swing it down like this so it, it, it looks good i like that simple simple pretty looks cool uh we can also bring this up right here bring this up right here and that looks awesome i think what we could do too if we get the gate we can do a little spruce gate right here just to give a little bit more detail detail there we go that looks awesome we can put another gate here and that kind of connects to that and then we can go over here and that kind of connects to that so that looks awesome look at this that looks so cool now on the inside part let's just go with dark oak and then we're going to detail it up so let's do it very plain and simple right now and then i'll show you how we can just mess with this whole entire thing so let's take it all the way up and then we're meeting here let's do it again on this side so going all the way down all the way down here with our stair full block all the way down and full stair all the way there and then let's take this full block going all the way down so it looks cool it's very simple we're gonna break it up though we're gonna make it nice so let's look at it over here from this side oh i like that i like that it's looking cool now let's work on some things so first off i want to do like a little uh, a little centerpiece here like a little center tower just to give it a little more detail uh so how about we do this right here and right here so two spaces from that side, two spaces from that side. We're gonna break these pieces in. We're gonna take that log that we had here of this stripped, and we're gonna go all the way up to right about there. That looks awesome. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So right here, two from this side, take this out. Take that little dark oak out. One, two, three, four. We're gonna take it up by four for now. Perfect. We're gonna go here. One, two. Get rid of that. Get rid of that dark oak. One, two, three, four. We have that going right there. Then watch this. I'm gonna take away this piece right here. We're gonna connect this to this. So watch this. So one, two, three here. One, two, three here. Get rid of that. Oh, oh no. Go back. One, two, three here. Get rid of this middle piece right about there. Get rid of all that. And then we're gonna connect this one, two, three. So we have this right here, a little box right here in the middle. That's gonna look really, really cool. Now let's work on, I wanna put like a little tower, nothing too crazy, just a little tower in the center that we can just look at and it looks awesome. So from right here, let's go up again. One, two, three. 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 I'm gonna bring in right here the uh, spruce and we're gonna go ahead and go one, two, three. One, two, three. Put a little stair here, a little stair right there. That looks awesome. Let's go again over here. So one, two, three, one, two, three, stair, stair. On this end in the middle, I'm just gonna cover this up with a spruce right about there. Cover up this right here with the spruce. And then we have this level. Now one more, I'm gonna take it up high, one higher. Go around like this, cross beam, cross beam, 
cross beam here, cross beam here, and we have this little tower right in the center. That looks so cool. Now, I wanna do a little tiny roof, nothing too insane, nothing too crazy, uh, and then I'm gonna make it right here. So let's do upside down stair, upside down stair, upside down stair. Actually, let's do it. Mm, yeah, let's, I, I kinda like it just dark oak. So upside down stair all the way around, all the way around on every other one, like so. I'm gonna get our slab. Let's grab our slab of dark oak. Let's grab that. I'm gonna put the slab of dark oak here, 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 there, there. Now, what I wanna do is let's go ahead, every other one, I'm gonna put a slab on top of those right here. I'm gonna grab our trap door. Oh, we have it already. Trap door of spruce. I'm gonna put it on top of those like that. Underneath these, we're gonna put some more trap doors just on the edges just to give it a little bit of detail on, uh, and also, you know what? Everywhere that there was, no, I'm not gonna put it on the middle. It's just on the corners right here. And there we go, we have that going. Now on the top, I'm gonna put a little tower. Let's go with a uh, dark oak going all the way around. Let's swing it all the way around like so. On the middle, I'm gonna go up again right around here let's swing that around so it's a very low tower but i want to i'm gonna go a little higher let's go uh right here let's put on every middle piece of full block right there let's go with a slab here 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 up here and there so all the way around right there uh right in this middle part let's go up with a uh, you know what how about we do a stair here just to give it a little bit of detail and it goes up just a little bit more in the center right here and right there. So we have this thing, it's looking nice. I like this little tower, so I'm gonna round it off now. Let's go with a, a full block on every other one like this. That looks cool. Uh, and then I'm gonna go with a, uh, let's go with trap doors again. Let's bring these trap doors back in. I'm gonna bring them in right about here right here on these corners. So it just adds a little bit more detail to it. And in the middle, we're gonna go up right about there. So that looks really, really cool. I like that, that looks awesome. Uh, and then over here, let's bring in a fence. I'm gonna bring in spruce and we're gonna go up one, two, and three. Actually just two, two. Three I think might be too long. I think two might be cool. And actually to add a little more detail, what if we get a little wall? Uh, and we'll put a little wall right underneath the wall and spruce. Oh, that looks cool. I wanna bring in a little bit more spruce. How about if we do, yeah. Let's put it on these corners just to add a little more detail. That looks awesome. I think that's cool. I don't wanna make it too big. So that's a nice little, uh, little tower in between. Oh, that looks so cool. All right, now let's start breaking this up a little bit and adding some more stuff. So first off, I wanna add just a little bit more. So let's take this piece off and I'm gonna curve that piece right there with a stair just to add a little bit more. So curve that piece with a stair on both sides. Let's see, let's go to the other end. Let's make sure everything's okay. Oh, looking cool. Now let's do uh, a little bit of a breakup job. So some of these are gonna be broken up. So what I'm gonna do for this, uh, let's go in here. I'm gonna grab uh, some of the trap doors and some of these are gonna get replaced with trap door like this. And it doesn't have to be exactly the ones I'm picking. You can just randomize it, but I wanna make it look a little beat up. So let's do that. Uh, over here, I'm gonna take these two out. Let's put a stair facing this way and a stair facing that way. That looks awesome. Uh, let's grab a stair. I'm gonna put one in here like so. Uh, and then how about we do a little upside down stair right in here like so. So that breaks it up good. Uh, so for this, I'm gonna do, let's put a stair right there, break that up. Let's do stair here, break that up. Oh, that's looking awesome. Uh, right here, let's do maybe a little stair upside down. And over here, let's do a little, little stair facing downward. Oh, that looks cool. See, we're breaking it up, we're doing it. Uh, up here, I don't wanna mess with it too much, even though I kinda like the way that is. Uh, so some of these are gonna get broken into. Let's go like that. Some of these also might get messed up. Let's do, let's bring in slabs for some of these. Uh, so this one, I'm gonna make it into a slab slab. Maybe right here, another slab. That looks awesome. Uh, over here, let's put a stair facing in. Let's break in that stair and let's break in this guy. Actually, no, this one, there we go. That looks awesome. Okay, so we're breaking that in. Now, another thing I wanna do is down here, 
Uh, let's see if we can mess with this too. Let's get a little bit of trap also. Uh, let's do maybe a couple of these trap doors right there. Like that. Adding a little more to the bottom. And then over here, maybe adding one more there. I think might look okay. That looks good. That looks really good. Uh, for windows, I'm thinking about adding just trap doors as windows. Uh, so a trap door window, trap door window here. Awesome. Okay. Now, another thing we need to do is add some windows in this. Uh, so for these, I think I want to add maybe two windows here. Drop these in. Uh, in the middle piece, I'm just going to go with the dark oak going all the way down right there. Just it looks a lot better. I like that. So dark oak all the way in, all the way down, covering this up. Cool. So let's do a little uh, double window here as well. Trap door for windows here and here. Uh, back here on this end, I'm going to go with just a window right in the middle. Uh, and I'm going to trap door that up as well, uh, leaving these open. Uh, and that's looking cool. So another thing we could do is maybe even beat up some of this. Like that's kind of mess messing up a little bit. Maybe something like that. That looks cool. Uh, maybe even adding like a small little crack right there would look pretty awesome. How about that? Let's do maybe another one right there just to add a little bit more. Uh, front door right here. Upside down stair. Looking cool. Uh, here we might add two windows as well. So let's do a little trap door. Trap door. And that looks awesome. Let's go back outside. Uh, for the flooring too, we can mess with it. Let's put maybe a couple of these as trap doors as well. Right here and right about there. Uh, let's get some torches in here so we can see. Uh, and it's looking pretty cool. I love this so much. Uh, so here, we can add a little door. And right here, a little spruce door is fine. Boom. And we have all this space. Look how spooky it is in here. Uh, so let's add a little torch action here and here. Uh, for the flooring, again, we can just mix and match some of the spruce. Uh, you can even have a little access hatch to get to a basement maybe here in the corner somewhere. Maybe like right here at the edge. That would be pretty cool. Uh, and uh, well, one of these might have to be a log so you can go up and down. How about we take these down just to have it symmetrical and one of these could be a way down. Put a little trap door on one and they have a way up and down. Uh, maybe breaking this up might also be pretty good. Uh, let's see, something like this would be all right. Even some of these could be stairs kind of all twisted up uh, like so, taking that one out. Some of these could be like stairs kind of twisted up uh, like this or something. I don't know. We can just play around with it. I don't know. Um, so that's a way in, uh, for the top part over here. If you want to add some more details, we can go ahead, add some torture torches here. Rooftop here. Let's see. Uh, maybe a little bit of glowstone and for details, you could just maybe drop that in there and I would just go down maybe right here with some of the spruce log, the strip spruce upside down stairs stairs on the edges if you want to cover that trap door you can cover it right there and that's your roof simple roof uh, and then we can definitely have a way to seal this off uh, have like a ladder going up or I, I would think a ladder just to save enough space uh, but so much space in here though uh, you can maybe cross beam here cross beam right there uh, have a th like three levels actually right now so we have this can get sealed up seal this up maybe even have a little stair or ladder maybe maybe right in the middle a little ladder to get up to the top and we have this little area could be a nice little uh, bedroom uh, and then you can even seal this up right here and then have another little way up to this part so much so much space so we have all this <laughs> spread out uh, maybe another little bit of torch action here you can have this like, little storage area uh, and if you want to get up here it's kind of be difficult but I'm thinking maybe just right here uh, you can have another little ladder. Uh, so ladder here to get up. So that's one way up. You have this little area. I love this. this is so good. Uh, a little trapdoor action. You have space in here looking very awesome. So right here, ladder to get up. Spookiness all over the place. Little spot over here. Ladder to get up would be probably in the middle right in here and then down here would be your way down to the bass amount uh would be right probably right there so that's another little area so much space so much i love it uh but let's go let's take a quick little look at it oh that looks so cool that looks so so cool i love this little cabin in the woods come on now that's cool i love this 
so much detail to that. And then, yeah, I wouldn't really, uh, you could break up the top, but I kind of like the way it's looking, looking really awesome. Oh, but man, that looks so cool. But give me a second. Let me do a quick little bit of interior, just so you guys can get an idea how spooky you can make this thing. All right, give me a second. All right, and we're done. Check this out. Oh, this is super cool. I added a bunch of details to this thing. The grounds look awesome. Uh, we literally have almost four stories of, of stuff in this thing. You'll see. Watch this. Let's go inside real fast, and I'll show you what we got. So first off, I <laughs> add a little skull right here when you come in. Looks awesome. Super awesome. Uh, a little bit of cobweb, and then we're coming on in. Boom. Uh, let me get a little torch action. Uh, so right here, we're coming on in, and we have this cool little, like, uh, altar kind of thing. So uh, I love Jeremy's pack because then these uh, things right here, these are sea pickles. It looks like little candles. It looks awesome. So I'm almost like they're doing, like, a little uh, blood sacrifice kind of thing right here in the front. Uh, a little uh, cauldron action right here. Brewing. A little blood on the floor. And then down here, basement goes to a little crypt uh, over here. And we kind of close this in, and we have a little crypt down there. It looks awesome. I don't know. It's super cool. Uh, it's so awesome. I love it. This is cool. We can actually put a bed down there if anything, too. Uh, so we have our little crypt down there in the basement. Super awesome. And then we get to the next floor over here. We have a little, like, en enchanting kind of thing. Uh, so that's super cool. We got some banners, some carpet, uh, a little enchanting station. And we got another skull, uh, kind of skeleton in a, a costume a cosplay right here. I don't know what they're doing. Looks like Ghost Rider. The flames are coming soon to the head. Uh, but this looks awesome. And then over here to the next section, we've got the bedroom. Perfect for all kinds of necromancy kind of things. So we have uh, some, <laughs> I think there's a, an Alex, a zombie head right there. Really cool. We got a creeper head on this side. Uh, we got a little bit of bush on the top uh, with the lighting right in there. So we have this cool little area to sleep in and that's it. <laughs> and uh, don't mind the cooking utensils up here. Don't worry about it. Uh, but <laughs> that's all there is to it. A nice little scary cabin in the woods for you. We might be doing a big version of this thing, but this is super cool. Let's take one more little spin. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this thing. Oh, this is so awesome. Check out all the other previous Halloween type episodes. Uh, we got a couple uh, already. We got these trees. We got that cool little pumpkin fantasy house. We got a bunch more coming through. But that's it. That's all there is to it, man. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Let me know if there's any other Halloween style builds you guys want me to try out in an upcoming episode, and I'll be down to do it. But yeah, I'm out. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Catch you on the next episode of Building with Salsas. See you guys later.